I am fascinated by Joey Chestnut. How anybody could eat 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes and consume 23,000 calories. The number one ranked eater, eater in the world, Joey Chestnut! How does a body do that? Joey Chestnut is thought to be one of the greatest competitive eaters of all time. The greatest. Like, you want to see greatness? Look to the left of your screen. Joey Chestnut, the knee plus ultra of human achievement. I'm learning that they do this by training. So maybe one day per week, they'll shove like 60 hot dogs down in one sitting. But then they kind of go easy on themselves the rest of the week. They might eat like far less calories than they normally would. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying they'll eat 60 hot dogs? Oh, absolutely, as... to train. They have to stretch out their stomachs, their abdomens, they have to train their throats. How does somebody not weigh 500 pounds? No, they do gain, like, he's gained 22 or more pounds by just eating hot dogs. Oh. But then for yeah. the rest of the week, he brings it way down, right? Well, so... you don't bring it way down by eating 60 hot yeah. dogs. <laughs> no, but they do have liquid days. They have days where they take days off and sort of reset. He talks about this, which is crazy. Yeah, I, I just do a normal once a week cheat day. Yeah, so I, I try to eat healthy during the week, and once a week I do a big massive stretch with uh, whatever I can. With uh, last last weekend I did like eight, eight pounds of cucumbers. And you have to you have to be used to taking in a massive amount of food and digesting it. Uh, and if I do a, a massive amount of food with like hot dogs or hamburger or pizza every time, I'm gonna be 400 pounds. And then if I'm 400 pounds, then I can't control my breathing during a contest, and then I, and then I lose. In addition to Joey being yeah. like the master glizzy gobbler, you know, like there's, <laughs> there's other things that have been talked about. There was actually a study done in 2013 by the Canadian Medical Association Journal, and they said that the stomachs of competitive eaters do have some unique properties, including the ability to expand by an incredible amount. A typical eater cannot put away the same amount of food in, in one sitting. What do we got? 67. 67. He is slowing down. I don't think he can do it. I, he's right on the bubble. In addition to the training, there are a lot of competitive eaters that are just, they built different. The throat's built different. You know what I'm it's saying? Biology. It's, it's, it's biology. It's biology. This park is shouting Joey. And Jeffrey Bezos, I'm only going to ask once. Bring Joey to the moon with you, man. He's earned it. Chestnut is a true American treasure. I think it's there's a psychological. They said it's yeah. both. They said it's equally psychological as it is physical training. You know, it's, it's. No, no, no. But I mean, a psychological element, the kind of person that would that would want to do that. How are you feeling, Joey? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, a little bloated still, but uh, you know, it takes a little time. And then here's my thing. I worry about them because, like, I personally get joy from eating. I love flavors. I love foods. I love putting different combinations together. Are you telling me that since they eat so much and they're training their bodies, do they even have joy in eating anymore? Joey Chestnut, gonna get north of 60 and pick up another belt. Do we establish this as a sport? We've talked about things like this before. You train for it. Three, two, one, go! And they are off. No. Yeah, why well, is it it's sport? something you certainly train for physically. But so. is it a sport? I think it's a sport. No, I really do think it's There's a sport. There's no net, no ball, no line. If curling is a sport, competitive eating should be. He said, oh, oh my God. This is really a sport. There's a winner. There, it's a competition, and it requires effort. This first minute or two, is really key, Rich. Yeah, if you look at the numbers from past years, the first minute or two is where they set their pace. Yeah, and they have to train their bodies in a specific way. They train their stomach to be, I quote, an enormous flaccid sack. <laughs> first, of all, first of all, that term is just way more vivid and descriptive than needs to be happening. But think of the pinnacle of American uh, food, you know, competition, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. George takes us home with Joey Chestnut. That was peak television in the in the early to mid 2000s. So I feel like you can grow up seeing that on TV and being like, do I want to lose the joy of food? Probably not, but this is an opportunity to be seen on a platform I probably wouldn't be seen. You know what I mean? Yes, not 53. Kobayashi now goes to 52. Kobayashi just slowly closing in on Chestnut. Joey Chestnut and Kobayashi, the guy that he's competed against in the past, they just made a big Netflix deal. They're gonna make a fortune. So if you're at the top of the game, I bet he's getting north of a million dollars for that. 76, Nathan's Hot Dogs and Bob. A new world record. 
how does it work to eat 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes? I, I don't understand. Well, some of them do the chipmunk yes. method where they're actually keeping and storing a lot of the 76 hot dogs? No. <laughs> their stomach expands into their upper abdomen some. It's really over the top. What if you vomit like an hour later? Do they still, are you allowed to do that? Once you're done, you're done. So you could just vomit it an hour later, right? Yeah. I would do that. Oh God, can you, oh. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs>